I think we're going to jump into some scores of the week. What do you think? Work for you? Works for me. Let me pull over an eBay screen here so that I can pull up our first score of the week, which is going to be from... Doo, 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 doo. Oh, we've got a Lennox score from Anne Marie Marciano. She says she purchased a 32-piece set of Lennox dinnerware at a local garage sale for $10. Wow, nice. The pattern is called Jewel Platinum. So let me just pull up a link to a coffee cup and saucer set that she just recently sold. Five at $19.99 each. That's a total of $149.95. And that is item number, let me pull that up so you can look at it, item number 29, whoops, I'm writing in the wrong place, 29, where'd it go, 29, see what I get for not printing them out, 2906, there it is, 2906-4184-1485. And, oh, these kind of almost have like a little bit of that Dorothy Thorpe kind of look to them, that era. So let me put this on the screen for you. So this is what it looks like. This is Jewel Platinum by Lennox. Lennox is, is just a really good name. People know that name. They look for that name. Um, and she actually did these plus shipping. So really, this this is could have been, um, I, I would suspect, had these been, um, and this is not to criticize you, Anne-Marie, but, but to put more money in your pocket instead of into... Um, eBay's pocket, $29.99, add in the shipping. You could have listed these for maybe $34.95, $39.95 um, with the free shipping. And then when you got those multiple sales, um, they might have paid a little bit more per cup. I, I'm, I'm not going to knock $19.99 a piece. I would just be careful that your customer didn't come in and, and be a little bit grumpy about having to break out that shipping on that because um, that's what they do and now we have to be really careful of that defect rate so she also sold four bread and butter plates this past week for forty dollars and still has two to sell plus another six salad sets that's some pretty darn good profit um, but I would encourage you Anne and I don't know if you're in our chat room let me look here if Anne is talking in the chat doesn't look like it I don't see her um, but if you watch this, Anne, I would highly, highly encourage you to do free shipping and build that shipping cost up into the item price because what you'll see is customers don't then dicker as much when they're buying multiple quantities or if they do come in with an offer, you have a lot more wiggle room. But very nice score. Very nice score. And our next score comes from Tammy Swafford. Let me just pull up here. Here I'll Come back here for a second while I'm pulling up Tammy's score. 1713-0590-4854. And this is a vintage black Americana figurine. Let me pull it back up on the screen here. With a pig. Where's Lynn? It's got a pig, Lynn. Lynn's our resident pig lover. So she purchased this figurine at a yard sale in the country for $1, and it sold for $60 on a best offer. Also, one of our app members informed her that her artist was actually Pete Apsit, a well-known artist, and had she known that, she might have been able to play up on some of his prior works in the description. So sometimes that's a really good thing to know if you've got an artist. But nonetheless, $59 profit, nothing to uh, knock at all. Um, and this black Americana stuff does really well, you guys. It does really well. Um, so very good job, Tammy. Very good job. And I hope Lynn sees this and sees a cute little piggy. All right, let me pull up our next one. You guys hear I'm losing my voice. It's all good. I got through what I needed to go through. I can lose my voice now. <laughs> one, nine, one, one. One zero seven nine one seven nine one. What have we got here? Oh, we've got a plush. We've got a plush. This is a Hunchback of Notre Dame plush. Anybody know how you say that little goat's name? Jolly or Dejolly? I don't know what his name is. Uh, let's see what the story is here. 
This from, comes from Kate Otwell. says, this is her very first time to purchase plush strictly for resale. And good eye then. Good eye. This is a good one. She bought this Disney plush for $2 and sold it for $59.99. And Kate didn't tell us where she got that, but I suspect it was either a thrift store or a yard sale by that pricing. And so, yeah, Disney plush, you guys, the more obscure the character, too, the better we'll be. And uh, that's a pretty nice profit margin. Let me go check over here. Oh, is it Jolly? Oh, it's Jolly is how you pronounce that. Thank you, Betty. Thank you. Jolly. I never knew that. See, you learn something new every day. But totally, I love this little goat. I used to raise goats. And, and he's kind of a Nubian goat. He, he's not a true Nubian goat, but he's got the long ears. So I had him back in my collection way back when I was doing goats. So very cool. All right. What do we have next? Is it, I'm, Lisa, this is odd. I've never done this like from the screen. I've always had to. Uh, oh, I skipped one. Did I skip one? Yeah, it's just because I'm doing it from the screen. Here we go. Oh, another plush score. I don't want to skip Bob Smith's plush score. Let's see. We've got three eight zero eight nine seven six one zero seven nine one. Let's pull this up. This is a big brown plush puppy dog. He got it at his local Salvation Army. And it was three ninety nine. He listed it for eighty nine ninety nine with best offer. Says he went back and forth with a buyer and settled for an our best offer of fifty dollars. And this is a pretty safe deal when you're doing this too, because this guy I'm sure squished right up into a ball. He could be put in a poly envelope and voila on his way. So turning three ninety nine into fifty bucks and pretty easy to ship. That I'll take that any old day. You betcha. So very nice, Bob. Very nice. You guys, sometimes it's just all about the quick flip. If you got somebody interested in something and you've got a nice cushy profit margin still, even though maybe if you held out it might go for more, man, take the money and run. Like my husband always says, can't go broke making a profit. He loved hearing me say that from the stage, by the way, you guys. He's been telling me that for years. And then it finally sunk in about a year ago. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. That does work. <laughs> So, nice job. Okay, I'm glad we didn't skip that. Okay, Melanie Campbell is one of my appsters. And this is the Westmoreland Fox score. So let's go take a look. Item number 13113187 Ah, I see, I see. This looks very cool. Westmoreland Fox candy dish compote milk glass basket weave. So they made these um candy dishes in all sorts of different um what do you call it? Figural features. Now, next time you get one of these, Melanie, you can actually call this fox on nest. This, uh, because they're known as the hen on nest. So people look for the on nest part of these things. There's rabbits, deer, fox, dogs. Oh my gosh, probably just about an every animal you can imagine. Chickens are the most popular. And one of the ways you can tell the maker if it's not signed or has a mark, when I say signed, that means has, you know, usually an embossed little logo on the bottom, is by that basket weave. There are ways to tell who done it by the different basket weave of this bottom part here, this part under here. I suspect this one was marked with the W for Westmoreland. Let's take a look. Although I'm not seeing it. So wondering, Melanie, if you knew this because of the basket weave. Because that would be absolutely how you would tell on this piece. But very nice piece. Very nice piece. And let's see, what's the story here? Is she, uh, da, 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 da. Did she got this at her very first estate sale. And, oh, she had another appster help her identify this as Westmoreland. She bought it for $21. Very good risk taking. She listed it for $99.99, accepted a best offer of $85. Excellent, $64 profit. Yay for taking a chance on that. Yes, 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 paid off 
in a very good way. Awesome sauce. Love that. I love when you guys take chances. Oh, the W is inside the lid. Ah, very cool. Yeah, Westmoreland pieces are usually signed with a W. Imperial glass will have an I and a G. Um, trying to think. There's another company that I can never say the name of. I can recognize it when I see the name. It's Valerisol or something like that. Valerisol. V-A-L-L-E-R-Y-S-T-H-O-L. -L -E I believe that's how it's spelled. It's a French company. I'm probably totally butchering the name, um, but they usually just have a V. Um, so there's several companies that, that make these, and some of them do really, really well. Really well. It's a very nice score. All right, and we run the thread, you guys know, every Sunday over on the Danny App Facebook group which is so cool it's growing we're over the three thousand dollar mark now on on members and growing every day and so much amazing knowledge over there you guys so much amazing knowledge and i so appreciate that everybody is willing to jump in and help one another identify these things and just help each other with those listings that is what it's all about you guys all about who let them cows out? Boom.